folks. Come on in. Say hi in the chat room. Don't mind my red face. I'm trying to set up all my screens here. Just give me a second. PJ. Hi, Nikki. Thanks for coming. Oh, good. I'm glad the notification worked. Don't mind my red face. I have rosacea and uh, there's nothing I can do about it. So, I'm having a little bit of beer to make me feel better. Hi, Roberta. Thanks for coming. I've been running around like crazy today. We're headed down. Hi, Scotty. We're headed down to the farm tomorrow morning. And uh, we are um, going to be there for the July birthday bash. And tonight, I, I saw that everybody's been doing this painted string thing, so I thought I would give it a whirl. And I don't know how successful it's going to be. Oh, thank you, Roberta. That's that's my that was a, a quilt I did of my cat threads, and uh, it. It won Best Original Design in several different shows, and uh, it's got Trapunto, and it has a lot of heavy-duty machine quilting, and um, but I needed something to block the light out of the window behind me and dress it up, so I hung that there. String can be fun, so I have uh, a whole pile of photo paper and um, some heavy duty copier paper it's almost like a cardstock and I thought we would do the um, the painted string hi Lala how are you thanks for coming string th theory yeah you got it Nikki um, so I thought we would do that um, I got my I also thought we could play with the distress oxides set too I got them today and they look yummy. That's right, PJ. You watched me quilt some of this. I made that quilt in 1994. Oh, and I have news. I don't know if this will work. You love my chicken, yes. I'm going to start a chicken series very soon. Um, I want to show you. Um, let's see, it's not going to be there. Hang on one second. Um, 94. No, I wasn't in the basement apartment, PJ. I was... Probably on Brookville Drive in Center Reach. So, my property manager gave me a call today. And he wanted to show me the new floor in my studio. Not in Corum, PJ. That was the farm. And there's the floor. Hi, Sheila. So when I get down there, probably on Sunday, I will take a new video of the studio. And um, thank you, Scotty. Isn't that floor nice? That's one of those 
luxury vinyl floors. It's a, a plank and it clicks together and it's supposedly uh, really strong and comfortable and waterproof. So I can pour paint all over it. Um, so I'm going to get rid of the ugly face on the camera and switch over to the desktop. Uh, I, in case you're wondering, uh, I have rosacea and my face can actually go purple at times. And it's like 99 degrees and 199% humidity up here. So... Okay, Lala, thank you for stopping in. Uh, it should be it should be up by tomorrow, hopefully. So, uh, but anyway, so yeah, welcome to the world of the pale white man. Anyway, let me get off of this uh, ugly camera and switch over to overhead. And you'll notice that the chicken changed in the corner. I have more. I even have one uh, for an intercession or inter intermission. Okay, so this is exciting, isn't it? All this white paper. Get out the cutter and move this photo paper. Yeah, pee break. Everybody needs a pee break. Now perhaps it's just me, but I'm having difficulties trying to figure this thing out. Trying to get it lined up so I can uh, cut paper in half. Where's half on this? See if you, you go over here and you can't see it anymore. Nothing's lined up. So that would be eight and a half. So I want this to be four and a quarter. All right. Just fold it in half and cut. Yeah, because obviously I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I don't do math. Oh, you're having storms now, Sheila? Oh, and Sheila was, she says she was jonesing for a fix. And she wanted to know when I was going on. Oh, massive flooding. That's not good, Nikki. Are you high and dry? Now I can't see the stupid fold line. You got rain, but uh, uh, do you have to worry about the flooding? Or is your house high enough that you don't have to worry about flooding? You know, I'm making a mess. Flood it all around, but okay, so you don't have water in your house. You know, the real estate 
real estate agent kept trying to show me all these houses that were right on the river. I said, are you crazy? Oh, what do you mean? It's beautiful property. I says, yeah, what's the, what's the 500 year flood? What's the 100 year flood? What's the 50 year flood history? I said, I'm not buying on the river. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that window vacuum. That was kind of strange. I wish I could see what the heck was going on here. Are they the... Yes, look at that. I did it. Are you proud of me? I cut paper in half. I mean, we could we could say that that job really sucks, right? Right, Nikki? Washing windows, vacuuming windows. <laughs> wow! Look at that. Two batches in a row, and they're the same size. Yeah, I like gadgets too. Um, I'm a I'm a tool whore. I just bought myself a mini hammer. I went to Harbor Freight so Sanjay could get himself a tool toolbox for down down at the farm. And I couldn't pass up that little hammer. Hey, three for three. Put me in the World Series. <laughs> I love Harbor Freight. See, my father was a mechanic. His father was a mechanic. I grew up in my father's gas station. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Thanks for coming. So I grew up in my father's gas station, and I love tools. Love, love, love. And my son and I, PJ and I, got to split my dad's toolbox. <laughs> it's tool time. Um, I have I have Grandpa's Craftsman toolbox, PJ. I'll be moving it down sooner or later. <sighs> Liquid refreshment. Alright, so I have some paper cut that actually isn't all messed up. And I have some scraps here that I can play with too if I get desperate. Okay. Um, I'm going to use this string. I got this in Harbor Freight. <laughs> but it has a, a really nice texture on it. So hopefully it should look nice. Ho Garden Wheat Beer, PJ. We'll have to go someplace and get some beer. Um, I guess on... Sunday, I guess. I'd like some of that uh, Angry Orchard Cider. I like that stuff. Let me get my mouse out of the way. I have so much crap on my desk. And this is after I packed up all the acrylic pouring stuff. So while I'm down at the farm, I'm going to try and record um, teaching PJ and Carrie how to do acrylic pouring. I'm bringing about a hundred tiles with me, um, some canvases, and we have uh, we have James Hardy uh, concrete siding. 
down there that we can paint on. And um, what else? We got plenty of wood. So I'll try and record that. I don't know as to whether or not I can go live. I, I don't have a computer strong enough to go to go live. So or a wired connection. Yeah, I br I'm bringing a tarp too, PJ. I know we're going to make a mess. Okay, I'm going to be using the Sargent's watercolor. What color is this? That looks like some, some kind of green. This here is some kind of yellow. No? No, that's a blue. That's a red. And that's, I guess, a magenta. Hi, Annie. Thanks for coming. This is blue. This is turquoise. I like turquoise. We have green, orange, red. Black. Well, that could be interesting. Yeller. What are the colors that I get? Violet. Think. Think of the thing. Is that the end of it? Nope, I got more. I got some more. Brown, I don't want to do brown. Magenta. No brown. I not be liking the brown. I think that's it. <sighs> I watched that hop too. That was great, Peg. One of these days I have to try and get in um, one of those. Alright, let's see what happens now. Why does it seem so dark in here? Let me try and get on another, another couple of lights. brown. Yep, nobody know, likes the brown. You're not late, Lenny. Hi, Rose. How are you? Thanks for coming. <sighs> okay, so let me see if I can move the camera a little. Don't get seasick, folks. just knocked something over. Oh well. Okay, so I'm using a small piece of paper. So I could probably get away with shorter strings than I've seen most. Hi, Linda! <laughs> Thanks for coming. Okay. So I was delayed going live 
because um, I was paying for our kitchen cabinets. That's right, folks. The deal is done. The cabinets have been ordered. The cabinets will come in in four weeks. So right after my son and daughter-in-law leave, while we're down there, we have to empty out our kitchen. And then my neighbor is going to tear out all the old cabinets. Oh, you did this last night, Annie? Okay, what do we got here? We have five. Do a couple more. Just remember, somebody, somebody elbow Linda if she starts to nod off. You know, because we don't want her snoring or anything. Alright, that should be enough for right now. Oh, marbled painting. Okay. Is that with the, uh, the nail polish dropped on the water? Or the, what was it? Shishumi? The, the Japanese stuff where you drop the ink on the water? Oh, Patricia, you did the string thing last night? I'll, you'll have to let me know if I'm doing anything wrong. I have my strings. I got my paper. I got my watercolor. Oh, marbles in the... Okay, yes, yes, yes. I have... I bought a bunch of marbles for that. Oh, what time do we have to be there for dinner, Peg? <laughs> Bye, Peg. Right, you dip the marbles in the paint and then you just roll them around in a box on, on paper. <laughs> 30 minutes and we have to be at Peg's for dinner. I'm not going to use a lot of ink. I say that, but now I'm going to pour it in because it doesn't look like a lot. Okay, this is yeller. Oh, golf balls. That would be so cool, Scotty. I have golf balls somewhere. Oh, I know where. Up on my barn. On the second floor of my barn. Somebody collected golf balls and there's like uh, a whole plastic bucket full of them. Hi, Amanda. How are you? Thanks for coming. I hope Peg doesn't mind, but I'm going to be in my painty clothes. I imagine they would, Scotty. I'll have to try that. A cush ball. <laughs> Uh, turquoise. Ah, oh, it has been so bloody hot here today, I'll tell you. You want to know how hot it is? Just a second and I'll show you. This is how hot it is. My face is all red. <laughs> Turquoise. That should be enough to get me started, maybe. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe some violet. Uh, violet? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's get these out of the way. Plop them over there. start out so we don't do a real solid soak just curl it up in here and let it soak up a little You feel clown vomit coming on. Oh, yes, indeedy. I likes me some clown vomit. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for coming. You smooshed it down, huh? Well, I'm not going to smoosh. It's it's going down. It's a going. Okay. So, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, and um, here's another thing. You know, from all the acrylic pours that I've been doing, if you use paper cups, you get some really amazing bottoms. And you cut them out with your, or you just you use a pair of scissors, and you get instant planets. I'm going to use these for my collage book. I don't have okay I assume you have to blot them off a little not sure how exactly that's gonna work but Unicorn poo, okay. And now we'll go for some turquoise. Okay, guys, here goes nothing. I am using uh, watercolor. Sergeant's watercolor. I'll show you the bottle in a sec. So cool. That is epic. I love that. Here's what I'm using.
I got it on uh, Amazon. It was a very good price. Now, let's see if we can get a second one. Let's see what will happen. i going to find the end here somewhere. Don't know if it's going to work. Oh my god, that's so epic! That is so cool! <laughs> okay, now I can skip the yellow. In fact, I think I will pour it back and exchange it for some orange. I didn't use the orange, did I? Where is the orange? Okay, who, who took off with it? Magenta? Didn't I have the orange? Doesn't it look like a flower? Where the heck did my orange go? Oh, here it is, right here, okay. You can use, yeah, you could use food coloring. Um, you can use just about any. <laughs> you can use just about any, I guess, transparent, watery style. Um, Betsy Doodle used uh, printer ink and that that worked out really well orange is the new brown okay I like orange better so let's see what color do I want to use now let's go with violet and whatever this is. That's turquoise. That's violet. Oh, I have two oranges. That's what I did. Okay, whatever. And it worked out good, Patricia, with the acrylics? You watered them down a lot, I guess? Your craft corner is clean, so it's times to uh, it's time to get messy again, huh? Come on. Oops, sorry, I'm off screen here, out of space. Oh, come on now. Boy, you know, it's one of those days. There we go. <laughs> you have pictures. You have proved that your craft corner was clean. I'm going for the long, sinewy looking flowers everybody's been making. You only gave the acrylics a little bit of a spray. Okay. I got 
gonna not. Oh, cool. Okay, so you just put a little bit of water on the bottom of the cup for the acrylic paint. I have some Bombay inks. I could always get those out. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Um, you can actually type in caps now. I turned that off. So sorry. <laughs> Knots are cool, too. Okay. So I'm hoping by Labor Day I will have a brandy new kitchen down at the farm. <laughs> oh cool, even the second the second pull was good. You're right, PJ. Orange is the new brown. That looks very brownish. Bombay ink should work, yeah. Hi, Lottie. You stumbled in early tonight. We're playing with string. Uh, so I have two oranges. I guess I could actually put one on the Mac. Because I'm an idiot. use this for a different color. That's orange. Uh, let's see what color. Maybe some... Oh, I have a turquoise. We'll put that back in. Yeah, this, this string thing looks so like so much fun. I said, oh, I should really try it. And have some fun with it. It doesn't involve anything that I've packed already for the farm. And I have the turquoise in. I guess we could go for some violet. See how that goes. Uh, I think what you want to do is you want to look for a string that one is strong enough to be pulled on a lot and you want something that has a bit of a texture to it. And this is actually um, safety rope. It's polyester. And I got it in Harbor Freight. So you want, basically you want something that's got texture to it and something that's strong and can handle being soaked. But this was, this was really cheap and I thought we could use it for, uh, you know, for binding, uh, for book binding. So, and it came in bright colors. So that's a plus. Harbor Freight. Not only your husband can go tool shopping anymore. Okay. Now 
the blue. That didn't feel successful. Oh, it worked! Cool! Cool beans! You know, you know what else is fun, Amanda? And you can actually use this, this paint. And again, Amazon, it was a good price. Um, you can do what, um, what uh, Stacy Evans did on Pink Poodle Crafts. She did bubble art. You use this watercolor. And then you put a couple of drops of dish soap in here. And you blow into it. And then when the bubbles start coming up, you push the paper down on top of the bubbles and you get really cool effects. So you can do that. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna get until you pick up the paper, Lottie. Okay, let's see what we got. This is the violet. Try that. And I want to do magenta. Right, you, the texture in your string really, really adds to it. That's what gives it that, um, uh, you know, this, this effect down here. That's all with the string, with the with the texture. So that's that. Go back in the sauce. And now what color? Violet, magenta, orange. Orange. It's probably probably gonna make poop. But what the heck? You only live once. It'll make brown. all over the page <laughs> what happens if we put them all down together we will try it Ha, 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 ha. 
It's going to make brown, but that's okay. It sounds like a yawning puppy. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Yes, the squeaky of the uh, of the string makes it sound like it's a yawning puppy. Oh, I have a a knot. Okay, I guess I should pull them all out. I made brown. I shouldn't have used the violet. But it's still cool. Oh, let's be brave and use a big piece. Lollipop, yeah. <laughs> Is that one or two? That's one. Maybe I'll have a little green. Oh, that's pretty. Actually, no, it's turquoise. Let's move that over here. That's the colors I'm using. Turquoise. Magenta. Um, to make trees. I guess you could, but I think it's the I think it's the coiling that gives you that cool effect. We'll try it. Um, I guess I can try it green. and see what happens. I'll just pull this one now and see if it looks like a tree. It's a strange looking tree, but... I guess you could do browns and grays if you wanted to make the trees, or the trunks. Uh, let's see. I mean, 
if I just maybe if I loop it oh get out of the way would that make like a tree branch or something Colorful, whimsical trees, yeah. I guess you could do them straight. This actually has a texture, too. You can actually feel it. That's cool. Um, so let's see if I can't get another... another tree-ish looking shape. Oh, for crying out loud. There. Now let's put that over here. Oh, very cool. This one has lots and lots of detail here. I have her, I have uh, Joanne's video queued up, Patricia. I love Arty Fer Farty Fairy. Did she, um, was it successful? I have it in a tab, but I haven't watched it yet. What colors? Oh good, I love her videos. I'll have to watch it. Hopefully I'll get time to watch it tonight. Let's 
that's it. Ooh, boo. Um, guess I'll do another turquoise. I don't want orange, it'll get all brown. Yeah, it works good for, for uh, forests. Well, I am using a very bright white copier paper, and it feels, uh, it's, you know, for printers, it's very, very bright white, and it almost feels like a very light uh, cardstock. So that's what I'm using. I also have photo paper here. <laughs> I thought photo paper might add interest. Okay, let's see what happens with this one. another one. It does look like abstract trees. Let's try. Balloons, yeah. <laughs> well, 
it's getting a little bit more and more abstracty. It is interesting. So I think you all get the general idea. Would you like me to do some more or you want me to go on to the, um, the distress oxides? Oh, I love those colors. I think I'll do a couple more with some magenta and orange. Yeah, every one is different. I don't think you can really... Uh, I don't think you can really duplicate these. Come on, get in there. I'll do some red and magenta. Those are my favorites. And then we can move on to the um, to the distress oxides. Come on. Get wonky. Hi, Roz. How are you? Thanks for coming. Oh, that came out cool. Now I wonder if I give this a quick dry, whether or not I can put other colors on top of it. No more string. Okay, just a second. <laughs> These will be it, I promise. Shut up, you, Patrick. Reminds me of a tornado. Okay. Okay, cool, you can layer them. 
So there you go. That's those. Let me put these stuff away. Buy your lot. You want to know what the challenge is. Okay. Um, I haven't really formalized it. This actually has some violet in it, so I'm going to just soak that up. Um, you need more stimulation to paint your canvas? Okay. How's that for you? Um, the challenge is going to involve something to do with chickens. Hi, Carrie. Carrie is my daughter-in-law. Everybody say hi. Oh, what challenge, Amanda? Um, I'm going to hold another challenge on my channel and um, to celebrate the July birthday bash. Yes, chickens, Janet. <laughs> so, what happens if I just do this? So it's going to involve chickens. You would have to send me a little something that is chickeny, not fried chicken. Um, some feathers or a picture of a chicken or some chicken napkins. Something to do with chickens. <laughs> Boy, that string got pretty. No baked chicken, no shake and bake. Something chickeny. So feathers, um, chicken napkin, chicken painting. No chicken fingers. Does the song count? <laughs> Sheila sent me a hysterical song earlier about the cursing chicken. I can use the string in my journal. Yes, I certainly can. So this is not going anywhere. You don't have to, you could buy it, you can make it, you know, it, like I said, some chicken napkins. Um, I have some ATCs that I made of chickens. Let's see, where are they? Where are the finished ones? No. Where did they go? I don't know where I stuck them right now. My recent batch of ATCs, they were in here somewhere. But no, I don't see them. I will have to find them. Um, yes, photograph your silkies. And then, you know, print it out on copier paper or whatever. So that works. Um, and let's see. 
if if all else fails and you don't have anything chickeny then some of your painty papers you know something like this or your drop sheets um oh your son showed you the chicken song <laughs> no rubber chickens nancy um so you know like i said painty papers scraps things like that um and send it to me by let's see let's see august august where's my mouse let me look at my calendar real quick calendar 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 Let's see, September. September 4th is Labor Day, so let's say by September 8th. I'll repeat the challenge um, at the end of the video also. So everybody has it, but um, something chickeny or uh, drop paper, scrap paper, painty paper, things like that, jelly prints, whatever. Um, and by September 8th. Oh, you have some chicken related goodies for me, PJ? Well, then you can be entered in the challenge. <laughs> You're not going to give birth to a chicken? On Labor Day? <laughs> Bye, Sheila. Have fun rebooting. Eggs. Hmm. I don't think they'd make it through <laughs> through the mail. Where did my ATCs go? Because you just said eggs. And I have to show you my uh, ATC about a chicken and an egg. And I don't know what happened to them. I'm yeah. I'm bringing I'm bringing all the eggs I can I can gather. PJ, the chickens uh, have not been laying that much. Um, because it's been so bloody hot. Chocolate eggs. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. August on Long Island. I don't think so. You have mini eggs somewhere, huh? Where did they go? This is just going to drive me nuts. Where did my ATCs go? Let me see. Those are playing cards. What do we got here? These are all stuck together. Those are not them. I had a whole stack of them. Where the heck did they go? That's really bugging me now. And I'm dropping my paper all over the floor. Oh, yours are not laying because it's too cold. So, Roz, do you supplement their light? I always supplement my chickens light during the winter, and they'll continue laying all year for me. Where the heck did those things go? bugging me. I might have put them in a box somewhere. Oh well, carry on. Let me put these watercolor out of the way. 
Make sure they're closed so they don't open up all over. If you want, if you want eggs during the winter raws, just supplement their light. I put, um, I put LED rope lighting up there in the in the coop, and they can't break that. And it's outdoor; it's rated for outdoor use. And um, they need, they need, um, I turn it on around 3.30 in the morning. And then it stays on until about 6 o'clock at night. And that's, that's what, that's all they need. I don't know where my ATCs went, guys. I'm really losing it. I have no idea where they went. And they were pretty, too. Okay. So, we were going to play with... Oh, I have to get my board out. Let me get my board. Break out a new board for tonight. The chickens, um, I have a coop. I have a four foot by six foot coop for my chickens, and I have an attached run. So they have lots of um, lots of room to move around. I'll need to cut some more paper. The chat, uh, the channel, the winner will get um, a nice package of goodies that I make them. Hi, Hellenic, how are you? Thanks for coming. They will get um, a nice package that I put together. I, I was, I was generous with my last package, so they'll get um, some of my painty papers. They will get. Maybe, possibly, if they don't live in Timbuktu and it costs me, you know, ten zillion dollars for shipping, uh, they might get one of my acrylic pours. Um, and I will give them, uh, I will paint them an original chicken painting. Oh, PJ, you get all that stuff anyway. Oh, you have a tornado? Hurry up and get in the tub. Pull the mattress over you, but take the laptop with you. Stay with us as long as possible. Sheila, do you have uh, do you have a, a storm cellar? Go get in your storm cellar. Just make sure you have internet down there. Annie, if if you don't have any any chicken type things, I mean it can even be, you know, pictures from magazines, uh, calendars, um, whatever, you know. But if you don't have any of that, just send me some painty papers, some scraps, nothing big. I'm going to announce the challenge again, Lottie. But basically, you have until September eighth. Or I guess I can make it easy. September 9th, so 9-9, 2017, to send me some kind of something chickeny, feathers, pictures of chickens, um, chicken napkins, pictures of chickens from um, magazines or something. If you can draw, you can draw me a chicken. And it's the challenge is the July birthday bash. 
and it's also celebrating uh, let's see 400 subbies let's see how far I am from subbies Hang on one second. I have 380 subscribers, so I'm going to celebrate 400 subbies. And you have until, like I said, uh, September 9th. And, um, that's, yeah, that's it. You have to be a subscriber to my channel. Anything about chickens, yeah. Unless you absolutely have no, no chickens whatsoever. I'm going to try some photo paper too and see how that works. Yes, my birthday is next week. Oh, happy birthday, Lottie. When's your birthday? PJ's birthday was the 17th. My grandson's birthday was the 28th, I'm the 29th, and Sanjay is August 11th. Really? Yeah. Oh, yours is the 27th. I'm the 29th. My grandson is the 28th. He was born on my 40th birthday, or he was my 40th birthday present. And we always celebrate with Carvel ice cream cake, so we'll go get a big Carvel ice cream cake and stuff our faces silly. And Carrie's going to be making some some kind of goody goody. She she's a great cook. I was thinking about making my spaghetti pie, but I think I think Carrie was going to do that. Really, your birthday is August 11th, also. Well, happy early birthday, Patricia. Wow, that <laughs> must have been a cold winter, yeah. Okay, so we have that all cut up. Out of the way. Hi, Rosie Posey. This camera is crooked. It seems like it's a pretty, pretty popular day for a birthday. August 11th. See if I can't straighten that out any. Hang on, guys. Let me try and straighten this out. There. Zoom out so you can see what's going on. So these are the new Distress Oxides, Tim Holtz. We have, let's see, Peacock Feathers, Twisted Citron, Lucky Clover, Candied Apple, Salty Ocean, 
frayed burlap, black soot, antique linen, abandoned coral, wild honey, seedless preserves, and picked raspberries. So those are the colors. Put some water in my water bottle. All the Leos, yep. So I mailed off my junk journal to the recipient. I hope she likes it. I put four things in the mail today. Hemorrhaging cash to the post office. Okay, so what colors should we try first? Let's try Abandoned Coral. The distressed inks are different than um, than the oxides. The oxides seem to change a little. So we're trying this on photo paper, on the shiny side of photo paper. No, they're not metallic raws. They are... Um, they're opaque and what you can do with them um, you dry them and then you can start layering a different, uh, different colors on them without making mud the distressed inks are different Amanda they are just pure like stamp pad they're, trans they're transparent What's fun with these is that you can really, um, you can layer them. That's blue. Let's try citron. No, they're not metallic. And maybe some peacock feathers. Yeah, they can be layered, yeah. Once you dry them, they can be layered. See, they remain individual levels. Oh, there's always a list, Rose, yeah. <laughs> and apparently you can spritz water over them and they'll they'll change. You're seeing a funny texture on here because this cutting mat has texture on it.
you get kind of a bleaching effect. Can't really see it on this texture though. <laughs> You're going back to school, Amanda? You're going to go to Chick-fil-A in honor of my challenge. Okay. I'm not sure I'm liking this on the photo paper so much. It looks okay, but... Um, it soaks in too quickly, I think. Oh, you're a teacher. Okay, yeah. Let me separate this out. And we'll try some of this cardstock instead. Where is the wild honey? Okay, this is the printer paper. Oh, you'll have to let us know how you like those Marabou spray paints, Rose. Oh, that's nice and bright. Chick-fil-A napkins. Or Chick Films napkins. Okay. okay let's dry this one. Well, actually, if you look at, um, if you want to enter it, be great, Rose, yeah. That would be awesome. Um, our friend Nightbot is uh, showing, you know, giving my street address to you guys every so often, so you can look for that if you want to enter. colorful. And I'm going to have to end this soon, guys, because I have to get up at like 5 o'clock in the morning to get on the road. So we'll play around with this one for a little while longer. The one thing with the sprays, Rose, you really have to keep those nozzles clean. What happens if I try the other side? The other side has no texture. Oh, 
Lower Chicken Road. No, it's Lower Sheep Pasture Road. How do I keep what clean? The, oh, the sprays? Um, you can soak them. Um, it helps if, you're, if, you, if they have any mica in them or sparkle. That made mud. Um, you need to keep them on their sides. And uh, you can also um, clean out the, the little sprayer. So before you put them away, take this thing out and put it in a cup of water and squirt it until all the you know the water comes out clean. Otherwise, you just have to soak your nozzles um, in some hot water, you know, with maybe some dish soap in it. But they will clog on you. That's that's the one thing about sprays. They will clog on you. Okay, that one was a fail. So I'll avoid the antique linen again. That's pretty. That's getting pretty. Okay. That's a pretty red. getting pretty 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 So let's see if we can't get some oxidization. Yeah, cool. See, so you have all these little water spots in here now. That's getting colorful. What color do I want? Let's do some salty ocean. My chickens, Helen, I have uh, I have eight chickens right now, 
and they are each a different breed species I I believe that they do reactivate with water but somebody was doing an experiment and they put matte medium down on the paper and while it was wet they started dipping in and if you do that um, once the matte medium dries it's basically uh, less less apt to reactivate and run the photo paper I'm not sure if it will reactivate with the photo paper because um, it might sink into the underneath the shiny surface doesn't look too awful bad this is from set one this is wilted violet they might be permanent then um, I just I haven't played with them enough you have at Osterloff's Sussex I have um, I have a silver lace Wyandotte a gold laced Wyandot, a Cuckoo Moran, a Plymouth Rock, light brown Leghorn. I have two different types of Easter Eggers and is that it? They're all named after Orange is the New Black characters. So I've got Chapman, It's she's an Easter Egger. Nikki is an Easter Egger. Oh, and I also have a Speckled Sussex. I don't have a Foghorn Leghorn, no. I don't have any um, I don't have any bantams or small chickens I don't have any silkies or anything but anyway guys um, so we didn't do a lot and I apologize but I do have to get to sleep now you have foghorn leghorn and in your in, in your head huh earworm so these were the papers that we played with I like this one the best and we have string and string we have lots of string let's see where is it all there it is more 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 okay that. Oh, thanks, Amanda. Yeah, I have lots of pretty feathers, Hellenic. Oh, you're fun, Sheila. Oh, you're, you're fun. You're welcome, Sheila. <laughs> Okay, so I'll get I'll go over the the challenge again. You have until September 9th to send me something chickeny, or if you don't have anything chickeny, some scrap paper, painty paper, drop paper. Um, and I'll post a video with an update on um, on the challenge and everything. And of course, I always post videos for on all the entries. 
and Nightbot just put my address in there again. Or you can reach out to me on Facebook and I'll give you my address. Alright guys, so I am going to pack it in and uh, try and get some sleep. So I'm not sure if I'll go live from the farm or not, but if I, if I can, I will. Let's put it that way. Oh, well, thanks for coming, Lenny. I appreciate it. You like my painty fingers, Sheila? They look pretty good, don't they? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think that's about it for me tonight. I got to go and finish packing and get to sleep. PJ and Carrie, drive safely. I will see you tomorrow. Oh, thanks, Hellenic. Oh, I, I, every trip to the farm is always wonderful. Um, I'll be taking a video of my new studio because they just put the floor in. So now I can start moving stuff down there. Sunday. When are you coming, PJ? You're coming on Sunday or are you coming tomorrow? Bye, Patricia. Love you too, PJ. Good night, Hellenic. Good night, not night bot. <laughs> Okay, guys, so look for something this week. It may be real short. We'll see if it works. You'll call me after the stream. Okay, PJ. All right, guys, well, thank you. Goodbye, Nikki. Keep your, keep your, uh, your, your house above water. All right, guys, I got to go. Good night, everybody. Thanks so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you all later. So long now. Hi, everyone. It's Melissa from 70 Acre Studio. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'd be grateful if you'd please give me a thumbs up and a kind comment down below. Please share my channel with your friends and on your social media, and please subscribe. When you subscribe, please click the alarm bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for helping grow my channel. So long now.